Hi everybody. Welcome to Dandelion Cottage and Marvelous Monday. I'm Leslie Watkins. So today I've got a Halloween gift card holder for you and I'll be using the Frightfully Cute stamp set. And this is a special project that I'm preparing for my team because at our monthly meeting in another week or so, everybody's going to be bringing a gift card holder that they've designed using a current Stampin' Up! stamp set and products. And so this is going to be my, um, my gift card holder. And I thought that I would share it with you so that you could see how I do it. So let's get started. I'm using the Frightfully Cute stamp set and the Frightful Tags dies. Okay, and this is a really fun stamp set with all these wonderful iconic images of Halloween and a number of really nice sentiments. And then the dies are adorable. You've got a spider web, a witch's hat, an owl. You've got a round die to cut out the moon shape. You've got this spooky tree and a iron, wrought iron fence post railing section. <laughs> and, uh, and then these really nice uh, labels. There are even some little stars here. I've also gotten out my Word Wishes die set. These are a set of dies that cut out sentiments like Thanksgiving, Merry Christmas, Happy Father's Day, Happy Mother's Day, Happy Easter, St. Patrick's Day, uh, Valentine's, and what is that one? Oh, New Year's. And they have Happy Halloween, so I used that today as well. I have some of the matte black dots and the metallic mesh ribbon. All of the products that I'm using today will be listed below with a link that will bring you to my online store. And you actually have two choices, one that brings you to the entire store and another link that says shop supplies. And that one has just the things that I'm using today, if that's all that you wanted to know. So you can check that out afterwards. And I have a uh, card base that I've already cut out. So this is just basic black and it's a standard note card size, four and a quarter by five and a half. I've got a little label that I die cut using the rectangle stitched dies so it has this really nice stitching detail around the edge and that color is pumpkin pie. I've got a scrap of silver foil and this measures about a little less than three and three quarters by a little less than four. And I've gone ahead and I've already cut out my Happy Halloween using the silver foil and I think you can see that catching the light and then I also use that little tiny star die from the frightful tags to create this little star motif and I think you can you can see how cute that is with the white behind it and this is just a, a white envelope and um, and I cut this with a little flap on the end and you'll see how that comes together in a, in a bit. So what I want to do before we start assembling is I want to do a little bit of heat embossing. And for that I'm going to need my stamps and I'm going to be using some Versamark ink. Maybe we zoomed in a little too much there. So here's my Versamark ink. 
and I have a collection of uh, clear blocks here that I'm going to be mounting my stamps onto. So let's get those stamps mounted up. I've got my adorable witch and here's my spider that is hanging by the ed end of its silk. And I've got the black cat. And let's see, probably want, well, just, just in case, I'll take out the bat and the pumpkin. And then for a sentiment, I'm just going to use Happy Halloween to you. And I'm just going to line that up on this long block. Alrighty. So on the inside of my card, I want to add my spider. I'm going to get him nice and juicy with my Versamark ink. Now the Versamark ink acts as a glue and that's going to... I just want to stop talking for a minute, make sure I get this straight. So I'm going to have to stand up so I can see what I'm doing. The Versamark ink acts as a glue to hold the embossing powder. And today I'm using silver. So let's see where that went to. Here's my silver. And I'm just getting a piece of scrap paper. Okay, there's my spider. And I'm going to turn on my heat tool for just a minute. So this is kind of noisy. So uh, I'm going to mute you so you don't have to listen to the Okay, so I've got my beautiful shiny spider now with the silver thread, and I think you can hopefully see how shiny that is. It came out really nicely. All right, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to need a piece of tear tape on the inside of my card here. So I'm just going to place that right near the fold. I'm just going to leave that there for now while I do my cover. Give that a good burnishing. And then I have my piece of silver here. So I want to decorate that. And what I've done is I have 
an assortment of all these die cuts that I've already cut out ahead of time so that uh, we can save a little bit of time here today. And I've stamped the moon onto so saffron with so saffron ink and then I've sponged around the edges so I've got a couple of different moons to select from here in various tones. I've got my beautiful spider webs and my happy Halloween that's been cut out of the silver foil and then I've got some fences, I've got my trees, my witch's hat, and my little owls. I have an assortment Whoops. of all these guys. Got a little bit of an echo here. Sorry about that. Here we go. Oh, we've got lots of people here today. Hello, Teresa, Penny, Ginger, Carol, and Kelly. So nice to see you all here today. California, Baton Rouge, Louisiana. And um, Penny, where did you tell me you were from? Was it Maryland? Oh, boy. I'm sorry. I forgot where you said you were from. Let me know. And uh, I just, I get so excited knowing that people are tuning in from all over. It's, it's really fun. All right, so we're going to do a little more stamping. So before um, I start putting these things onto the card. So for that, I'm going to be using my Memento Tuxedo Black Ink. And... I've got my witch here. Actually, let me get the sentiment on first so I can see how my spacing looks. Okay, I want to leave a little bit of room to be able to um, put a message. So let's put this over here. And then, and then, I'll put my witch in this corner. Love this witch. So there she is. And actually, you know what? While we have the witch out, I'm going to go ahead and stamp her on the back of my envelope. Okay, there she is. That looks really cute. All right, and one more. Don't want to forget my black cat. And that can go down in this corner. There we go. And I may or may not do a little bit of tone on tone stamping. We'll decide when we see the card coming together if it needs that or not. All right, so back to my silver foil piece here. Let me just move these things off to the side. And get my die cuts. All right, so here's my silver foil piece. <clears throat> Excuse me. And I want to put some of my fencing along the bottom. And I also want to add some trees, but I don't want them all to look the same. So I'm going to kind of stagger them a little bit. So let's start, let's start with one. And I'm using my liquid glue and I'm using it on the foil. So 
This is going to take a little bit extra time to dry. And I have my tweezers. my tissue so I can just take off some of the excess glue like so and I'm going to put this one like that getting a little bit messy here. I'm just going to blot that. I'm going to give you a really good tip in a couple of minutes on how to get that glue off of the silver foil. Um, because that can be, if any of you have has gotten glue, the liquid glue, onto the foil uh, paper, you know how much of a hassle that can be to get it off. You just cannot get it off. Well, there is a solution, so I'm going to show you that in just a minute because I am making a mess here today. And I'm just going to put this one over here. Like so. Okay. All right, and now my fencing. Sorry, I'm off camera here. Let me move these over a little bit. There we go. Put one spent section here, get that on there straight. And then I'm going to take my one of my witch's hats. And that's going to go over the fence post as though her hat flew off as she was flying by and some thoughtful person put it on the fence post for her to come get. So let's just... There we go. All right, now we need another fence piece. That lined up. One more. Uh, 
out right there over my tree trunks. Okay, and then the final thing is my little owl. And I'm going to place the owl right over here. Okay, now I'm going to put this aside to dry and then I'm going to show you my um, tip on how to clean that up. So while that is setting up, I'm going to begin to assemble this. So first I want to give this a really good burnishing because I want this flap to lay down nice and flat. And I'll give you the measurements on this. This piece of black cardstock measures at about four and a quarter by five. And then the flap is scored at half an inch. And what I did was I just trimmed off the corners a little bit so that they don't show. And I'm going to use my tear and tape Oh, I've got messages here. Oh, the Linda, that's a great tip. She says she'd use adhesive sheets for, for those dyes. Yeah, you're, that's exactly right. If I thought more carefully about it, that would have been a great uh, solution. But, I, but it's also good. It gives me the chance to show you this really good tip that I want you to know about. And there, oh, so Carol is from Michigan. Um... I did know that. And and okay, so here's Penny. What does she say? She was she says she was born in Battle Creek. Um but she's living in Central Florida. And uh Penny, are you living in Central Florida with Coleman? Is it Coleman? I'm pretty sure I saw somewhere that your little whiskered friend is named Coleman. All right, so now I've got my tear and tape on the back of my flap here. And I'm gonna pull that backing away. Make sure I've got the front of my card here. And I'm just going to line that up A little bit higher, I think. Oops, I think it's down. Okay, we'll go with that. There we go. All right, so there's my flap on the front of the card. All right, so that's looking like that right now. And I want to add one of my moons. So let's see. I think I like that one. All right, this, so what I did to stamp this was I stamped off with the so saffron so I got a very faint image of those craters and then I just went around the edges with my sponge dauber to give it a little bit of a, a darker edge and I'm just going to glue that down and I, I left a little space you see where the stars are? So I, I left a little bit of a space there so I could put the um, 
the moon in this area. All right, so there's that. And then um, I'm gonna, I wanna do a little bit of background stamping. So let's see, let me get my tiny block here. And I have this eensy beensy pumpkin. And I'm just going to do a little bit of tone on tone with the pumpkin pie. And, and I'm just going to let me just test that, see how it's looking. Oh, that looks good. Okay. So I'm just going to put some very faint pumpkins, and I'm going to let some be a little bit darker, some be a little bit lighter. And just have them sort of tumbling along the bottom as if they're in a pumpkin patch. I'll let some of them go off the edge a little bit too. I did not grow pumpkins this year. I'm kind of bummed out that um, I don't have any. I usually have them and uh, and I've been seeing them around and they look so fun. All right, so there is my pumpkin and then I wanna add a bat. So here is, here's my little bat stamp. And I'm just gonna add a couple of bats. There we go. Okay, so this is going to get glued inside my card base. Kelly says it's humid and gloomy in Wisconsin. It's pretty gloomy here too. I thought for sure we would have some sunshine today, but no, we do not. All right, that looks really cute. All right, so I'm just gonna give that a little burnish. All right, let's, let's get my secret weapon for the glue out. Um, this stuff is fantastic. So um, I'm gonna have to reach here for a minute. Um, actually, I'll go around, hang on just a sec. So you're all probably familiar with Goo Gone, which is, which is good. I mean, this is a product that is kind of oily and, um, and it removes glue and adhesive and it's okay, but you don't want to really use this on paper because it will leave a residue and it'll leave kind of an oily mess, but it's great for using on your snips and bone folders and that sort of thing. So I do use that occasionally. 
but there's also something called undo. All right, and you can get this on Amazon. And this is a solvent cleaner. And what the label says is a uh, remover safely removes self adhesive stickies, tapes, labels, adhesive residue, gum, lip balm, crayon, tar, and grease. And it's extremely flammable and uh, fatal if swallowed. So you want to be careful with it, okay? Because it dries so fast, and I'm just using a little piece of uh, cotton pad here. I'm just going to put a few drops on there. Get that top on. It just it just takes the glue off immediately and then it dries instantly so that there's no possibility of the um, paper getting wet from the uh, undo. So I don't know how well you'll be able to see this, but it's working absolutely beautifully. And so um, if you are someone who likes to use the, um, I just got to wipe my hands a little bit and get, now I've got some dust from the, um, from the cotton, some lint. So I just want to get that lint off of there. I'll give that a close look. See a little more here. Here we go. The lint, <laughs> the lint is sticking to my tree branches. So let me just give this a little extra. Here we go. Okay. All right. That has removed all of the glue beautifully here. And, um, and these little bits are going to just evaporate and we are good to go. So that's what you do. Get this stuff. Undo remover. It works amazingly well. The other thing that I use this for that it's excellent is that since I've been using my sewing machine to stitch around my journals and cards, and sometimes what you do is you have some glue on the back of the label to hold it in place and then you stitch it uh, with the needle of the machine. The needle can get all gummed up and messy and that's that's why I have these um, cotton pads handy next to my sewing machine so I can just wipe away that glue residue and it and it's perfect. No problems whatsoever. All right. I still have a little bit of lint on there, but actually it looks like spider web, so we're going to go with the spider web look. And now I'm just going to put some glue on the back of my silver foil. And then I'm just going to tuck this over top of that flap and I cut the silver to be just the tiniest bit smaller than my flap. Okay, we want to make sure we get that lined up nicely so we don't have any edges showing. That looks good. And I'm just going to flip that over and give that a good burnishing. So there is our front flap with the beautiful silver stars sparkling. 
okay? And then our silhouette scene on the inside. Just checking my messages because we've got quite a few people on here today. Yeah, Kelly. Um, <laughs> cobwebs. Spooky lint. There you go. <laughs> I, I, that, this stuff, you know, I got to tell you, this was a game changer for me. I really recommend it. It's, you know, it's, it's important that you keep this away from kids and animals and whatnot. You don't want to be breathing in these fumes. But for those moments when you need something to save your foil, nothing else comes close to that stuff. It's awesome. All right. So we're not done yet. We still have, you remember, we've got this... Uh, tear tape on the inside here. So what I want to do is I want to put a strip of my scary mesh ribbon and I'm just tucking that edge down to the fold. Okay. And then I'm going to flip that over. And I'm just going to tie that. I'm just going to knot it. I'm not going to put a bow. I don't think that we need a bow for Halloween. We want this to look like a uh, spooky cobwebs. So there we go. I'm just going to trim that end off. There we go. All right, so there's there's that. And oh, I forgot to bring up my um, rhinestones. Okay, so folks, if you're closer to your craft room, make sure you have some rhinestones handy to put around the front of the card. My, my rhinestones are still downstairs, so I'm not going to get them right now, but just imagine rhinestones there. All right, now we're just going to tuck this up a little bit so we can open our flap. All right, but now on the inside up here, I have a couple of spider webs. All right, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to take... Let me show you. I'm going to take my glue and I'm just going to put that on the on the two outer bits of the web where the webs intersect. All right. And um and I'm just I just have that along this area here. And I'm going to place that over my ribbon. Just got glue everywhere again. Okay, so there's one. push that down. I, I don't want that to come up so that needs to um, I need to put some weight on here so let's see if this block will hold that down for a minute. All right so while that's setting up I'm going to do the same thing with this spider web. Okay, but this time the glued side, the glued side is over here. All right, so I'm going to put that up in this corner and I'm just going to get that 
silver embossed spider hanging off the edge of one of those corners. There we go. See how this is doing. All right, I'm going to have to come back with, when this dries, I'm going to have to come back with my undo and do a little clean up there as well. Okay, now I have my matte black dots and I'm going to grab one of the big ones and add that to my spider. Okay, there he is, or she. And this is what we have so far. So we've got our sparkly starry sky. And we've got our silhouette scene on the inside. And then you open the card to find your message and your sentiment. And now these spider webs, and they're not quite dry yet, but I have a gift card here. And that's going to tuck into my webs like so. This is still sticky. So that is my spooky gift card holder with my gift card inside of my cobwebs holding it into place. So I hope that gives you some ideas. I'd love to see what you do with this set. If you have a minute and you make something that you'd like to share, please put a post below here so we can see what you do and uh, and I'm going to have a little Halloween raffle at the end of uh, well just before Halloween I guess we'll, we'll have the raffle I'll let you know and all of the people that post between now and Halloween on, on this post and also on the one that I did on Saturday the frightfully cute um, this one the little treat holders. So if you if you share your projects with me and everybody else, you will have a chance to be entered into the raffle and we'll do one of those spinner things that they have where we put everybody's name on the spinner and you will get a prize from me. Okay? So so that's what I've got for you today. Have a great week. I will see you again on Wednesday for Watercolor Wednesday. Please subscribe to Dandelion Cottage Designs newsletter called Notes. You can find that on my website at dandeliancottagedesign.com under Notes. And I will also post that below so that you'll have a link so that you can subscribe and be kept up to date with all of my classes and events that I have coming up. So stay well, stay happy, stay creative, and I will see you next time.